Morning. Good morning, everybody. That's what she was supposed to be saying. Oh. She was doing it in the third person this morning, but she didn't. I realised. She forgot again. I'm meant to be talking to you, not talking to him. So I'm <clears> going to <throat> stop talking to my husband from that one. Good. Give me some peace. <laughs> right. She's learning. Yeah. Eventually. Well, we never did work out the app for this place. It was a bit too complicated for our liking. I still can't find black water waste. There's no hole anywhere to no. put anything down apart no. from normal drain, and you don't put that normal drain, so. No. Anyway, we're not going to whinge. What are we doing? Going. Just going? Yeah. So we've, we've crossed the border from Portugal to Spain last time we saw you, so we're now heading In Spain. north east. No, yeah, we're heading west. East? West? Yeah, we're heading east. If we head west, we'll end up. Yeah, we're heading east. Wait. Santiago Cat's gone to Lou again. Oh, not again. It's an impressive whatever it was, that. Hello, what the, the heck? Of it. What the heck? Oh, somebody's built half a house in front of it. Yeah. It's like remains of the old... Might be the old castleized town. Yeah. Way up. A wall there. Is that like a gateway? Or a Could have been. It's orna ornamental on the top. Yeah. Whatever it was. Well, you see that? We're on a touristic gastronomic zone, micro touristic. What do you think? Must be mushrooms and um, fungi. Over there, you've got rock rose in this biological park with lavender. And there's cuckoos and all sorts of birds life up here. You've got gorse down there, there's heathers, and this is a little area which has uh, not been burnt by fires. Well, I've not seen a river like this before. I don't know what all this white stuff is, but uh, it looks really nice. It's fast, quite fast flowing. And that's an old ford. By the looks of it, it's quite a deep ford. Oh, the flower. So it's what out for deers on this road. There's yeah. no way a deer is going to be roaming around up land like this, is there? I would have thought so. You need no, a tree to no hide behind. No tree cover or anything. No, there isn't. Miles. We have arrived at our destination. Up here. Oh, there's, there they are. Did you just see us? Up there in the trees. Another quiet village. This one's got a castle. Lots of pictures to take for Phil. And this wall is basically just made of mud. <laughs> and it's crumbling. It's, it is just mud still, isn't it? Yeah. How old is it? Well, it's quite Copper old fashioned way, dude. It's got it's straw in it. Yeah, it is quite hard. It's got a fabulous church. So we're going to go and have a, have a look round. It says there's two cafes down here, but when we drove through, we couldn't see it. But you never know, do you? They're just up little side streets behind. Doors that don't look like they're, there's not much going on behind, and then you get there and they're pretty cool. And good food. And the world's gone to pop. Hey? And the world's gone to pop. Has it what? I don't know. I don't know what's going Concrete posts and wooden posts and pillars holding up the village. It's proper, uh, like Tudor period, isn't it? Mm. With the bottling dog. It goes on forever. Gosh, you can sense the history, can't you? I bet a lot of this is Wattling Dog, like right? that wall yeah. upstairs. Yeah. A lot of Wattling Dog. Yeah, I filmed the Wattling Dog on the mother yeah, ones. Yeah, I've got a bit of this. It's sitting on 
upstairs. All these all down this street. Yeah, the, the base is all built in stone, but oh. the top would be like yeah. what one's all so. Is that the restaurant? Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't put it past this place. It's very confusing when you're trying to find a shop or a restaurant in rural Spain and rural Portugal because they don't have you don't advertise, do they you? don't make a big song and dance, do they? They don't they don't so have a shop you, window with all the stuff in. You, see, you should know it. it is, yeah. Farm you see like that. Well there's a farm, you see. Yeah. You know? Bit bars up so you can't go and nick the stuff. <laughs> two churches, I think. Or two styles. Do you think? Oh, we'll have a look in a minute. I'm going to go back that way. Even the door has got a door in it. The door has got a door. Oh yes, the door has got a door in it. It's very impressive when you stand here though and you look and you go up and you go up and you go up and you go up. It's pretty wow. It's got a coat of arms Where? Yeah, oh yeah, on the corner. Everything's so clean, so it must be like heritage type because everything's very, very, very clean. It's almost like... Yeah, looks like that was the door. Oh no, that, that could be the door. Yeah, that looks like the door. It's, it's open. Sorry, we couldn't go in. There was an act of worship going on and it said no permission for tourists. And there's the service. We're having some luck tonight, aren't we, love? I think we'll be going back to Van for a chickpea and mushroom curry at this rate. Found it. You wouldn't think that was a restaurant, would you? Guess what? What? Only shuts one day a week. Not, I bet, I bet not that's the day we come here. It's shut today. Yeah. We managed to do that quite regularly. It does, that happens to us a lot, does that? Oh, I wouldn't go anywhere because I just looked at the menu. You didn't fancy that, did you not? No, from the start it's... Um, it only had one fork as well. It had something to do with tripe and then it oh, had... Oh, traditional Yeah, it was hamburgers and a sandwich and then it were fish and a few different fish dishes. This does it all for? And then they had two meat dishes which were like... Oof. So you want vegetarian? Well... Yeah, it's like pig's trotters or sheep's brain or something. It's like, you know. They don't waste anything. You know where you can bloody... You can do what they like, I ain't eating in those sort of places. What? They can do what they like, but I ain't eating in them sorts of places. That's where you get it from. Well, yeah. Yeah. Me. Terry Wogan made it famous, didn't he? What, Rioja? Wasn't it? Terry Wogan used to make it from one. Oh, was it? Oh, I can't think that what it was. Uh, uh, Rioja. Well, it doesn't matter. Seco, did it? No. I don't know. I can't remember. It was a junk to Seco. I've remembered, I've remembered. It was Pinot. Oh. You've forgotten again. <laughs> Pinot Grigio, whatever yes. it's called. Pinot Grigio. Pinot yes. Grotio. Yeah. God. So we've uh, pulled up here next to these rock dwellings. And we're just going to go and have a look round. See what we can see, see, see. Pretty amazing, there were people still living in these up to 1960s. Uh, thanks to the testimonies of the women and men who inhabited these um, spaces bored into the cliff side, you can find out not only what they look like and what daily life was like in them, but also the sense of belonging to this place that the 
Kuvanins and the Kuvanos felt and its role in the collective imagination of the locals. Discover these cozy homes which are cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Went away, aren't they? Yeah. Completely. Yeah. In the weather. They were probably empty rebuilding most years. I bet, yeah. Like a mudstone. Got little doors and windows. Let's go and have a look. This looks like a visitor centre or something. <laughs> Hold on. I think what you forget is that they wanted them to be cool. Yeah. So in the summer, they'd be ideal, but then in the winter, you put your uh, fire on and you, you're warm. Gosh, you go back for... There's an element, they've got tiles on the floor, look. Yeah, look, it goes back one, two, three, it's four deep. Mm. And little side rooms. They're a bit uh, precarious with the Well, there is a bit of tiling left. They would have been quite beautiful, really. Propped. I'd have thought that was a fireplace, but I'm not sure. Because there's no chimney. Where would you put your fire then? In that oh. oven. Because it was cool in summer and warm in winter. Well, yeah, but how was it warm in the winter? Because it was natural rock. It's oh, right. it's so two different sorts of tiles. Yeah. There's a red and white one and a black you, and white this one. This feels solid. Yeah. And then when you go into here, yeah. that feels hollow. Hollow. As if there's something underneath it. Oh. There might have been stairs down there. Well, there's something. another floor. There's, there's several de um, yeah. like floors. There's, there's some higher up. Yeah. Some at middle and then some down at bottom. And some crumbling and falling apart. It's a good job they've preserved that one, isn't it? This is a big one. Is it? Yeah. Got a room there. Yeah. And it goes off into another room right there. Oh yeah, It doesn't look very posh as that one, so I bet that was for animals. Yeah. And then it goes up, up here. It's like there's the remains well, of a cooker. Forever. There's another room here. It's all tiled. Yeah. And there's a pink room here. So this is the kitchen. And a blue room here. This is the girls' bedroom. <laughs> and the boys. And now I'm going to make a quick exit. Seeing as the plaster's all falling off the roof. Wow. I think there was a pot there of sawing the grain and stuff in. Yeah. It's um, very well preserved, really. Well, not preserved, just left as it was. Imagine sitting on your doorstep. Sorry about the um, strimmer guy who feels he has to keep revving it. Mm. I'm not so sure I want to live in here. Are you? The way it cracks. So easily, they're in the roof. It's got a massive big crack in it. Well, if you go to nice the one. Colours, blue and green. The one round there, there's like a balcony, an open bit. Yeah. And there's a rock about that much, the whole roof's just it's falling dropped. off. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not. It's, it's really crumbly stuff. Yeah. And, uh, there isn't really a proper uh, access to some of the buildings. You've just got to clamber on the rock, which I don't like doing, really. Oh, look at this. It's, so this will be one of the ones that was lived in until recently. It's got the sink, food storage, preparation area, shelves. Yeah. Animals lived in, in here as well. Who? The animals lived in here. Oh, that's what will keep it warm then. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it says. 
In traditional agri agrarian societies, it was common to find that part of the family's home was used to house animals. The same was true of the caves in Aguero, where the area for horses, chickens, and pigs depending on, depended on the size and depth and layout of each dwelling. The animals sometimes had to pass through other rooms on their way in and out. A bit like France and a bit like... So um, this, this will be one of them. They'll have lived up there because there's doors here. Yeah. This is the kitchen and everything. And I bet the animals lived up there. Yeah. It's a bit like in, in that, how, that, that those houses we looked at in Edinburgh, where they had the... You know those... Did I oh, no. I was with Keita. Yeah. They were uh, about seven and eight storey high, and um, they somehow managed to have cows in um, some of the internal buildings Ooh. and really narrow streets. You see why they built them up here? That's for sure. What's that? It's like chalk. Oh gosh, so that'd, fall, that'd break easily, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's all very crumbly, it's all very loose. And mud rock. Mm -hmm. So after they moved out of the caves, there were some houses that were built right onto the rock. And then as they've progressed, they've moved further down into a town. And they become slightly more and more modern as they go further into the town. And then they've got this grand church. Centre. And all this lovely tiled, all this lovely tiled floor and cars driving over it. This house has got an engraving of the Crusades by the looks of it. And as they uh, tread the globe, so there's plenty of sky spaghetti, but it's all been attached to the walls, so it's quite different from some foreign places. Always time to stop for coffee. Yeah. Might even stop for lunch, eh? Yeah, it might be. With sparrows. No, the next thing I need to do, and it's put in the word you, so it says the next thing I need you to do. Yes, which is but not the what question I was, what was the question you asked me? You said what? No, I didn't say it, you said it. I've How do you do or? Oh. And I asked you, how do you do or? I don't. Because I don't know how to do or. I don't know. All oh, right, so it was a rhetorical question. Was it? I don't know. Is that you, what they call it? You called? don't know. You don't know what or a is. Quest a rhetorical question is when you ask a question but you're not actually wanting an answer, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This is Jeanette. No. No, it, it, no this is Sharon now. <laughs> We're in Sharon mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still want to know what or is, though. Oh, is when you're being bit ping. Oh yeah, I, I, I am a ping. We have a, we have a thing. But when you get asked a question, what is or? I'm struggling to answer what or is. So I ask it back. You do, because I'm now so far down this conversation <laughs> that I She doesn't know where she is. I've given up. <laughs> so I, I was staying in Spain or not? That's up to you. No, 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 you told us we were going home. It's not my decision to... It's a joint thing, isn't it? Go sparrow down there. I know, they're so cute. I know they're just a box standard brown job, but they still are cute, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they are. And we're both breaking rules by being on the phone while we're at a table. I'm not on the phone. I've got a GoPro in my hand. You picked up the phone as well as I did, but I started it, so I apologise. But I'm talking to your sister and my two kids. So that's, that's acceptable, is it, then? Oh, it's so good, is this waiter? Is I, is I born See, I don't, born? I don't get answered my questions. Oh, did you ask another question? Yes. You have to watch the film back now before you <laughs> can answer the question. I mean, you can answer it in about six weeks' time. When what, you see are it on we going screen. back to... Are we shopping in Spain? That might have been the question, but it might not have been the question. Well, your sister did say, she didn't say you have to come home, no, that were didn't. our decision. No, well, yeah, it was. Mine. Was it mine? It was more your decision than mine. Well, I when said... somebody mentions end of care life, I think that you 
make your yeah. way back because yeah, yeah. cause you said I'm afraid it looks like he might only have a couple of days yeah. but the old bugger is sat there chomping away <laughs> still going because yeah. he's just such a strong cantankerous old git <laughs> no no he is not he's lovely right then uh, we'll just change what you've said because you would not want that to be the last words that you said about your dad what the truth well, he's old. Yes. He is cantankerous. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like, you, is that where you get it from? Probably, yeah. Oh, your tea's coming. Right, or your we'll dinner. leave that there now. Leaked all that. <laughs> well, this is my tea now. I oh. won't be having tea, I'll just have a snack tonight. Oh, will you? What yeah. will that be? Spaghetti bolognese or something? No, we're, we've got a couple of those pork loins left. So oh, so you have we'll the salmon. steak chop and the pork chop tonight. You can have what you like. Mm, okay. <laughs> Who eats most food? Me. Hey. So that's where we're headed. Yeah. Park Natural Bardenas Reals. Good afternoon, Philip. Good afternoon, Jeanette. Oof, that was a big hole. It was. Good afternoon. What? The shower over there. Yeah, we've got showers this morning. And we didn't get set off this morning because we didn't get up till 11 o'clock. 10 Was it 10? First time I looked at my phone it were 11 so I don't know what I might have been up for a while by then. I don't know. Time has got a whole new meaning now but we were busy chatting to our friends or new friends from the next van Helen and Tony which we had a lot of in common with them and it was just I just didn't want to go. But we could only stay on the uh, air for 24 hours since we were there. So we're now progressing across the uh, landscape. We're going to go and have a lunch somewhere in four minutes. I think they're even more interested in that what you Yeah, that. I think so too. I think they're uh, quite interesting shapes, aren't they? Mm. Oh, that one's like going round in a semicircle. In 400 metres, making you turn. charge them last night. So we stopped here last night behind this big unit. Sports centre. Is it sports centre? It's open. It's not a closed thing. The kitchens can get under the side. Yeah. Um, but it was quiet weren't it? Right sports centre for pigeons. Um, there's a district well. Quiet? Quiet. Oh, well, no, there was noise till about two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, it was Saturday night weren't it? There were a district in the what you call a few poppies. So we found we found a nice little park up on the top there. So we've just come down through these flats that are quite modern, aren't they? Down to <coughs> the town centre and there's a fantastic church, castleized building up there. So making our way up the old town. Is this the old town? Yeah, right? this is into the old town. 
with the tall buildings to keep the streets cool all with a nice balcony it's quite well maintained aren't they yeah well this is where some of them are wearing the traditional outfits they've got all the flags out and banners fabulous Stores. Square pancakes. What? Square crepes. Square crepes. <laughs> Black and baklava. Ooh. It's very Turkish. Yeah. So this is all occurring at 8 o'clock at night on a Sunday. There's food, crafts, all sorts, leather goods. It's amazing. Very nice. Lovely atmosphere. Oh, we haven't done one of these for a bit, have we? No, we haven't. Hey? No, we haven't. I'm getting dizzy. Slow down. I went, okay. <laughs> Voila. Little village, really, isn't it? Yeah, these are eucalyptus trees, so they then give the name to the campsite. There we are, it's an hour pitch eucalyptus campsite, and we're on the Ebro Delta, and we're in the corner of the, the ground so that we can have easy access.